if you look at COVID infectivity and relate it to vitamin D status, the blood level of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, is there any relationship? And so we looked at over 191,000 blood samples throughout all 50 states, including all ages, all ethnicities, and, um, and latitude, and showed that if you have a blood level of 25 hydroxy vitamin D of 20 or less, compared to 34 nanograms per ml, reduced risk of COVID infectivity by 54%. Wow. And if you continued to have increased levels of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, it actually improved even further, out to 60 nanograms per ml. So that was the first observation that we made. The second observation was that we asked the question, if we look at COVID patients coming into a hospital setting, this is in Iran, working with Dr. Magabuli um, and Dr. Shervani, uh, asking the question, 74% of over 200 patients with serious COVID infection, we related their blood levels of 25-hydroxy vitamin D and demonstrated a significant reduced risk of morbidity and mortality. In fact, for those over the age of 40, more than 50% reduced of dying simply by being vitamin D sufficient at the time they entered the hospital. And we now have good evidence that vitamin D through its activation in macrophages and interacting with the receptor in T and B lymphocytes is probably modulating cytokine production in a way to minimize cytokine storm which is one of the major complications and, and major cause of morbidity and mortality associated um, with this um, viral infection. So we think that vitamin D has a very critical role to play. Study done in Israel has basically made the same observation. Um, and there's a study in Spain who actually gave 25 hydroxy vitamin D so, um, which is a supplement available in Spain and showed that there's reduced risk for morbidity and mortality. So there's a large database now to suggest that improvement in vitamin D status can help us in this pandemic. <music> 